it. Across Montana, homeowners and business owners have received their new appraisal notices from the state for tax purposes, and in many areas, the values have actually increased. But that doesn't necessarily mean your property taxes will increase this year as well. MTN's Mike Dennison explains. Every two years, the state revenue department reappraises your property for tax purposes. And this year, in Montana's major cities and counties, those values often increased. For residential property in these areas, the average countywide increase ranged from about 7% in Yellowstone to a high of 23% in Gallatin County. Ravalli County was the next highest among the most populous counties at 12.3%, followed by Missoula at 12.1%, Flathead 11%, Lewis and Clark at 9.6% and Cascade and Butte Silver Bowl around 9%. The appraised value of businesses also increased on average in these counties, usually by a lesser amount, except in Missoula, where they went up almost 18%. City and county officials will tell you taxes they levy probably won't increase by the same amount. Under state law, local governments can increase their general fund budget by only half the rate of inflation. So that means if your valuations are going up, then when the local government goes through the tax form, we're probably going to see a lot of mill levy reductions throughout the state of Montana. Public school budgets, which usually account for at least half your property taxes, also have increases limited under state law. As Burton explained, that means the mills, which are a multiplier applied to your property's taxable value to calculate the actual taxes, should go down to offset increasing values unless additional mills were approved by you, the voter, for more programs or new school buildings. But a lot of that statewide is going to be determined by what the voters themselves voted if they voted for school levies or libraries or any kind of levies that where, where the voters had a voice. On the flip side, if property values in your area declined, and they did in a dozen rural counties primarily in eastern Montana, then local mills may be increased to collect the same amount of revenue. And finally, there's the question of whether your new appraised value is accurate. I always tell people when they, when they get their uh, appraisal in the mail, they should ask themselves the following question. Would I sell my house for that amount of money? If the answer is yes, then the appraisal is accurate and legal. If it's lower, you shouldn't complain. If it's more than you think your property is worth, you can protest to the local revenue department office. And one last thing, if your property's value increased more than the county average, you'll likely be paying higher property taxes this coming year. You can go to our website and see the averages for every county. In Helena, I'm Mike Dennison, MTN News. And your actual property tax bills don't go out until November.